Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tia, and I'm back with another video. So this video is gonna be the April 2019 Boxy Charm. Yes. So I just got it in the mail yesterday. Um, I did look through it and see some things, some things I didn't open fully, but I know what's in it already. And I did that so I can know how to start my face. So yeah. I'm just all I did was do the eyebrows and I set my um concealer on my eyes. So if you want to see what I got in my version of the Boxy Charm box, then please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share and comment. Yes, y'all. So stay tuned. So here is the Boxy Charm for April 2019. So, the theme is Peace, Love, and Boxing. How cute you is that? Okay, the first thing, let's, let me show you how it looks on the inside. And it's just closed. And this is on the top, like so. So, now this is the inside. And I'm going to grab this right here. I don't know if you can see it. It says a cashmere slip. The long wear lipstick. It's by Christopher Buckle. I've never heard of that brand. That must be, I don't know, maybe not, not be new, but it is. I never heard of it. The packaging is really pretty. Look at that. That's kind of dope. And it has its name. And this is the color. It's a nice mauve color. And this is called Bear Dot. So that's pretty. So we'll get to this one a little later once I put the lip, lipstick on later. The next thing is this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. And it just looks like that. And I think that the Artist Couture is by the YouTuber Mac Daddy. And it is just a um, it's loose highlighter. And this is in the color Summer Haze. Pretty. That's pretty. It's like a, it looks rose gold. That's like a rose gold. I'm curious to use this because I don't, um, I've never used a loose highlighter before because I think that is just a lot, you know, like loose glitters, loose highlighters, loose powders, all that stuff. There's just a lot because it gets everywhere. Even though I use translucent powder, but I think that loose powders are like really messy. <laughs> and there we are. So the next thing is this Star Looks uh, Ultra Gem Longwear Eye Pencil. It's, it's called Celestial, I think. So it's just, just like that. Just a regular eye pencil, and it has this crazy plastic on it. You know that plastic that um, everyone wraps their freaking pencils in? Like their lip pencils. And it's hard to get off. Yeah, it's hard. Let me see what you do. And you have to peel it. Yeah. I hate that. I can never get it off the whole thing. I just take it off the top, <laughs> off the top of it, and then just pull the top off. Oh my, this color is green. Can you see that? Let's see. It's, oh, that color is green. Wow, I thought it was gonna be black. Let me see what you're... I can't really see it. It's just like green with a little bit of shimmer. It's like a light, like mermaid. So you can't really see it. It's like a mermaid green. Well, that's cute. I was, I was shocked. I thought it was going to be black. Okay, so the next thing we got is this Luxie Summer Days brush set. And you get three brushes in it. And I like that they use those brushes because <laughs> they're helping me get my brush game up. You know what's so crazy? I did not tell y'all how much everything was. Let me, let me go back real quick. Okay. So, the first thing that I pulled out was the Christopher Buckle, the lipstick, and this is $18. The next thing I pulled out was the Summer Haze Arch Couture Diamond Glow, and that is $27. Wow, that's a lot. The next thing I pulled out was this eye pencil by Starlux and this 
pencil is nineteen dollars. Wow. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting this to be nineteen dollars. It did glide on, but the pigment isn't really. It's not really that pigmented to me. Maybe because of the shade it is, but I did glide on it nicely. So we'll see how that works on the eyes. And the next thing was the Luxie um, Summer Days. That's cute. This is Summer Days and this is Summer Haze. How cute is that? Hmm. They must have done it on purpose. So the brush set is retailing for $28. And it's, you get a three-piece set. And again, those retail for $28. And the last thing in the box is this... Um, Pure, is it pure or pure? I think it's pure. But it's a 12 piece pressed pigment palette. It's a festival palette. It looks like this, and this is what the back looks like. This retails for $36, and you get 12 shadows. And this, it also comes with a get the get the grip, get a grip eyeshadow primer. You see that? Yeah comes with the get a grip eyeshadow primer. I done already put <laughs> primer. Well, I already primed my lids already, so I'll use another time. But let me show you what it looks like inside. It's actually very pretty. And you can do some neutral looks with this. You can do some like colorful looks with this. I got a pop of color. And so this is really it has a mirror too. So that's what it looks like inside. I'm gonna get a better close up, but got some. These look like pressed glitters. These look like shimmers. Got some shimmers right here, and then we have a couple matte. I just got some tape. I'm gonna put some tape on my eyes. I want this to be a nice crisp line. So I'm going to take this Morphe M504 brush and I'm going to go into this color called Epic right here. My oh, lights are bright. I'm just going to put that into the crease. Picks up a lot of water. And there's a lot of fallout. So we're going to blend this, just blend this color into the crease. It's pigmented. I'm going to use the mirror on the thing because my mirror is far away. Yeah, this is pigmented. I like that. Well, it should be pigmented because they are, um, what are they called? Um, pressed pigments. So they should be pigmented if they're pressed pigments. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with this color Hidden Desert right there. And I'm going to use the same brush and then put that right on top of this color. Yes, pigment. Yes. Oh my gosh. The pigment is nice. And it's blending so nicely. So I'm going to take a more tapered brush. This Sigma E38. And I'm going to go into all night. There is a lot of fallout in this palette. Just gonna take this dark brown color and it's called All Night. And I'm gonna try to keep that on my crease, like really low, like right there, so that you can still see the gradient of the other the first colors we use. Okay, so now I'm gonna do something else. Different. I want to do a cut crease, but cut creases are like not my best friend because my eyes are hooded, like it stops up here, you know what I'm saying? And all the work I did down here, you won't see, and then you know, it's just and when I'm, my eyes are open, you won't see the colors. So I have to cut my crease really, really high. So I want to take this brush from the Luxie set, the um, 245 Small Shaper brush. I mean, not Small Shaper, Small Shadow brush. And I'm going to cut my crease with it. I'm just going to use the concealer to do it. Whew. 
crisp is cooked, honey, cooked. So I'm going to take the other brush in the set, the large shader brush, the 209 brush. And I'm going to go into, I'm going to use these two colors. I just don't know if I want to put the purple in the beginning or the end. I might put the purple on the end. So I'm going to go into this purple and see how it works with the brush. And then just... Tap that in. All the way to the middle of my eye. Boom, look at that. Okay, let me, let me try with the fingers to even build up nicely. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to go into Wild Child, which is that pink. I hope this pink is pigmented. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm just going to put that in the beginning. Oh yes, the pigment is there, honey. And try to blend that over top of that one. I'm gonna go back in with the purple as well to blend it all in. Yes, so let me go back into the purple and try to blend the edges. So we have a gradient effect in the middle right there. Just redefining that line. And I'm just using a pencil brush and using the color of the brown all night. Yes. That's so colorful. <laughs> so colorful. What I'm going to do is do the base of my face off the screen and then we're going to come back and get into the rest of the product. So please stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. I did a little festival kind of hair look, something cute and, you know, fun pigtails. So I'm going to put these back. And I'm going to go back into the. Oh, actually, I'm going to go into the star. Um, the star looks. Pencil, I'm gonna line my um, my waterline with this. See if it shows up. And it's not even showing up. Long wear eye pencil. Okay, that. Not working? That's not showing up at all. That's okay. Whatever. Okay, y'all. So I found my Urban Decay 24-7 all um 24-7 glide on eye pencil and this is in the shade Voodoo. And it's just a purple. So I'm gonna line my what line with this purple. So I lined it with that purple liner, so I'm going to go in with the purple and then the purple from the palette, which is Gypsy, and I'm just going to blend the outer parts so the purples line up together. And I'm going to actually clean off this same brush with this little, I don't know what you call this thing, shadow switcher. And I'm going to go into Wild Child, which is the pink right there. Pigmented. And I'm just going to put that, line that up right with the, purple, the pink. And just blend those two colors together at the bottom. 
perfecto. And I kind of want to use these glitters. I don't want to mess with my eye look. Maybe I'll just try to... Like it's definitely glitter. Just put it in the center. And this color is called 24 Ma Carat Magic. I'm going to pop that into the center. Not too much. Perfect. Give me a little bit of pizzazz. Pizzazz. Whatever. I don't even say that word. That is like real, like, pressed glitter. It's like, it's just straight glitter. There's nothing in it but glitter. Looks nice. All right, y'all. I got lashes on. I just used these Violet Gloss lashes in just slant. I got these from Target. And, yeah, it took me a little bit to get these on, but they look good. And I actually put some, uh, a little bit of a uh, lip liner on the top, over top of it. So, now I'm going to go into the Artist Couture um, highlighter in Summer Haze. And I'm going to use the big brush from the Luxie thing, the small contour brush. I've actually been seeing a lot of people use their, this Anastasia brush. It kind of resembles this, so I'm going to try it with this. So I'm just going to, I guess, just dip into it. With that, I took the plastic off and just... Mm. Yes. Oh. Ooh. You see that? That is pretty. It's like a rose gold. Oh, yes. You see how that built up? And I'm going to go ham because this is a festival look. And yeah, we can go ham with everything. And still don't look crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ham with this highlight because this is gorgeous. Look at that. Hey. I like this brush doing it too. It's like blends it out a lot easier. That looks so good. My eyes look good too. I really love this. And the last product was of course the Christian Buckle Lipstick. And this color I'm just gonna put it on I'm not gonna lie my lips that's giving me a little bit of blah so I'm gonna take some color and put some glitter on my eyelids put some glitter so I'm gonna actually take this color fireworks right here and I'm gonna put that on my lips And this lipstick is so, so creamy. It feels really good on, but it transfers like crazy. Transfers like crazy. But look at that. Now, I'm done with all the products. So I'm about to add some jewels onto my face. I got these from uh, Michael's. And it is the... Uh, acrylic gems and they come in different sizes and I'm just gonna place these in my face and you guys can watch if you want to um I'll just fast forward through it but I'm going to use some duo glue so hopefully this works I've never done this before but <laughs> we about to go for it so I'm just gonna place the glue on my face where I want it well I want the jewels to go And what you can also do is you can use a white eyeliner. This is the Infallible by L'Oreal. See, it looks good with the white. So you could use a white liner just to, if you don't have gems. But I want to be extra. I found some gems at the store. Let me use them. 
So I'm just gonna place them on my face. So I'm gonna do a big, a small, a big, small. So you wanna press them on just to make sure that they are sticking and dry. this looks good so this is the finished look you guys I, I think it came out so pretty I used the boxy charm April 2019 and I really like all the products in it only thing that I don't like is the star looks um, eye pencil it did not show up on my eyes so it was just like pointless of having it everything else was good so yeah ladies Gents, this is my festival look Coachella whatever festivals you're going to here's the look for you thank you guys for coming back please subscribe please like please share this video if you like to um, get people to you know if they're looking for a festival look this is a good one so yes thank you guys bye